Here we're going to tie the corn fed caddis. First thing we're going to do is start with some tan thread. And then we're going to tie in the tail. In the tail we want to use some Antron. You can use a few different colors. Uh, you can use kind of a creamish color or a rusty color. Just depends on how dark you want your caddis to be. Uh, I'm going to use just kind of some cream colored Antron here. We want to tie in a tail that's fairly short. We only want the tail to be about half of the length of the shank of the hook. So I just kind of roughly measure it out. Take our thread all the way back to the bend. I like my tail to be kind of scraggly. I want it to look like a, a bug is just broken out of the shuck. I don't want it to necessarily be lopped off straight. And what we're going to do is just take our thread back to the bend. We're now ready to dub the body. For the body, we're just going to use some tan super fine dubbing. But you can tie the, the, the corn fed caddis in other colors. You can tie it in olive, you can tie it in black, you can tie it in a dark brown, darker tan. The tan is kind of the uh, color that. Umqua ties them in. It's the most common color that you find. So that's what we'll go ahead and tie here today. All I'm going to do is just dub a nice tight body. And I'll slowly taper it as I work my way forward. You can see here I'm trying to dub the dubbing as tight as I can to the shank of the hook. We're going to take our dubbing about three quarters or two thirds of the way forward. I got to leave a fair amount of room up there by the eye of the hook for the wing and all the other business that we're going to do up there. So I'm going to take it right about there. That's about two thirds, three quarters of the way. Now we're ready to tie in our underwing, which is going to be two natural done. CDC feathers. And I'm going to align them so that the tips are even. And we're going to tie this in so it barely reaches past the, the back of the hook. And if you have some smaller feathers, like those were two were kind of smaller, not quite as full. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a third one. You want this wing to be nice and full. So if two feathers don't quite do it, Add a third here, really fill out that wing. And what we're going to do is just get in here and trim out the, the butt ends. Just kind of clean all that up. You want to make sure you have a nice smooth base of thread up by the head here. Now the next thing to do is to tie in the overwing. For that, I'm just going to use a piece of white poly yarn. I'm going to tie the middle of the section of the poly yarn in, and I'll just kind of double it over. We're going to trim this poly yarn so that it's about half the length of the wing. We go. Now we can tie in our CDC for the head. And you can do this one of two ways. You can tie it in uh, like uh, with a dubbing loop. That's probably the more difficult way to tie it in. Or you can uh, do what I'm going to do and just kind of hackle it. And all I'm going to do is take a CDC feather, stroke all the fibers back, tie it in by the tip. Trim out the excess here. We'll take our thread all the way to the eye here. We'll just do a quick half hitch. I 
I'll just kind of keep my thread in place. Now all we're going to do is just take a hackle plier and just very delicately wrap this this CDC, kind of hackle it. What I'm going to do is try to stroke all the fibers back. Got a couple that kind of got stragglers right from the get-go. Stroke them back with your fingers. Then once I get to the head, I'm just going to capture it. Trim out the stem. And when I hackle it, I do usually have a few of these longer pieces of CDC on the bottom. And usually what I do is I trim out a few of them. I only want a handful of these long pieces of CDC, especially on the bottom. So I just kind of roughly trimmed out a couple of those. And you can trim out some on the top if you don't like too many, but they're supposed to kind of look like antennas and wings. The bug is flying and struggling. Because of all the CDC, it's a very high floating caddis. Good in slow and fast water. And you can find all the materials for this fly at intheriffle.com.